Hello everybody, I'm David Hilson, the Risk Doctor. I'd like to talk to you briefly about the idea of risk-based decision-making. There seem to be a lot of risk-based things about at the moment, uh, risk-based auditing, risk-based testing, risk-based remuneration, all sorts of things are risk-based. So why not risk-based decision-making? I'd like to suggest to you that the very term risk-based decision-making doesn't make sense uh, and maybe we should drop it. Why would I say that? Well, let's start off with a very uh, quick definition of the term risk. What do we mean by risk? And of course, there are lots of uh, international standards and guidelines out there. I would like to suggest to you a simple proto-definition, a kind of pre-definition with just three words, which underlie, that gives you the concepts which underlie all of the other existing international standards. And I define risk like this. Risk is uncertainty that matters. So all risks are uncertain. If it's not uncertain, it's not a risk. It's a, a something that matters, which is certain, is a fact, a problem, an issue, a constraint, a requirement. It's a something else. But all risks are uncertain and all risks matter. They matter because if they occur, they could affect our objectives, either positively or negatively, opportunities or threats. But if it doesn't matter, if it doesn't affect an objective, if it's just an uncertainty that's irrelevant, then it's not a risk that we need to identify, analyze, respond to, or try and manage or report on. So we know that risk is uncertainty that matters. Now let's just think quickly about decisions. What are the key characteristics of decisions? Well, first of all, all decisions require or involve options or alternatives. We're deciding between something. Maybe one of those decision op options is to do nothing, of course, or to leave things as they are. But there's always a something or a something else, at least two things and possibly more. And the issue of making a decision, decisions are required because it's not obvious which of the alternatives we ought to choose. If there's only one possible option, then it's a, we say, a no-brainer, a decision that doesn't really require any kind of thought or any kind of process. Decisions that are difficult, decisions that require our attention, are decisions where there's some kind of uncertainty about which of the alternative options are best or better, or maybe even just good or good enough. So if there's some uncertainty about the alternatives which present themselves to us, then we have a risk that we need to think about. Risks where there is no uncertainty are not real, uh, or rather decisions where there is no uncertainty are not real decisions at all. So for example, if we have a requirement to comply with regulatory requirements, we don't need to decide whether to, to comply or not, because it's a requirement, we have to do it. If a client insists that our project will not be accepted unless we deliver some key aspect of the specification, we can't choose or decide whether or not to do it. If we've got a requirement or a constraint or an obligation that is fixed, no decision is needed. We just have to do what needs to be done. The only place where we need to make a decision is if we have uncertainty in those options, if we have to choose between different options where there is no clear best path, where the outcomes of some options are not fully known, or where we have incomplete information to support our decision. Then we have to make the best possible decision in the situation that faces us. So all important decisions are inherently uncertain. The second thing which is true of all important decisions is that decisions are only required where the outcome matters. If we have some decision where it doesn't really matter which, which option we choose, then really there's no decision to be made. Should I wear my black socks or my grey socks? Who cares? It's not a requirement. that It really doesn't matter. Um, should I uh, get up and uh, turn left or turn right out of the door when I get up in the morning? Well, maybe that matters. Um, how should I uh, dress when I go to work? Maybe that matters, maybe it doesn't matter. True decisions are only required when the outcome matters. For example, if the survival of our company depends on whether or not we make a particular investment or who we choose as our joint venture partner, then we better make the right decision. If the choice of testing strategy determines whether or not we can deliver a fault-free product with confidence, we need to get it right. Uh, if we have two alternative technical solutions with the same level of risk exposure, both of which can deliver the required functionality with a similar time scale and budget, both of them are within our capability, it doesn't matter which one we choose. We can just pick one. 
Sometimes I go to a restaurant, a really nice restaurant, and they present with me with a menu. And my wife says, what are you going to have? I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. I can't decide. And I say to her, if you like them all, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Just pick one. And um, we only have to make a decision if, if it really matters which one we choose. So what we discover is that all important decisions involve uncertainty and the outcome of all decisions matter. Decisions involve uncertainties that matter. Hang on a minute, that sounds familiar. Risk is defined as uncertainty that matters. So all true decisions, all important decisions inherently involve risk. That means that every true decision must be risk-based. There's no such thing as a true decision which is not risk-based. So that means we ought to have a, um, a decision-making process which takes account of risk. And so how might we do that? Well, we must first of all clearly define our decision objectives. Why do we need to make this decision? How are we going to measure success? Then we have to consider the riskiness of each decision alternative by assessing the level of uncertainty and the nature of the possible outcomes. Then we need to choose an option that minimizes our risk exposure whilst also maximizing our chances of delivering the required decision objectives. Then we implement our decision, turning it into firm actions with agreed owners, communicating with those who are affected and monitor the outcome from our decision on our objectives to make sure that things are working out as we expected. And if they don't, then we need to take corrective action and make another decision. What I'm trying to say is that all true decisions are risky. That means that all true decisions must be risk-based. Risk is uncertainty that matters, all true decisions involve uncertainty and the outcome matters. So if all decision making is risk based, why do we need to say risk based decision making? Maybe we should just drop the phrase risk based and say decision making because all decision making is naturally risk based. Well, I hope you found that interesting and useful and maybe it might uh, affect the way you think about decisions and the way you uh, make decisions and maybe even the way you talk about decisions and i hope that all of your decisions are successful as you identify and manage the risk involved in your important decisions make good or at least the best possible decisions and achieve your objectives thank you very much this is david hilson the risk doctor signing out and i hope you found that useful bye for now